This food might taste delicious, and these items might look necessary, but you will probably change your mind when you see the true story behind what you use every day. Some of them are disgusting, and others could be dangerous for your life. Just wait until you hear how you are putting something toxic into your body every month. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're showing you 10 everyday items you'll never buy again, knowing how they're made. McNuggets You've probably already seen this disgusting picture of pink slime. People believe that this was how they made food at McDonald's. But you'll be happy to hear that this story is false. And to prove it, the fast food restaurant decided to show the world how their McNuggets were actually made. It is still disgusting, and we're eating animal corpses after all, but this is still better than what we imagined. The process starts by deboning whole chickens, and then set aside the breast meat for the McNuggets. So don't believe the rumor that it's made of chicken legs. It is not true either. The fat is trimmed off the breasts, and the meat is collected into a bin. Then it goes straight into the blender, and it's mixed with seasoning and chicken skin for flavoring. The chicken meat is then turned into different shapes. You've probably never understood what they are, but McNuggets are actually shaped like balls, bells, boots, and bow ties. After this, it's time to send them into the fryer. The meat is still a little bit raw, so the final step will be to send it to a McDonald's restaurant where it can finally be cooked. After hearing the rumors, it is actually not that bad, unless you're a vegetarian. But just wait until you see what's coming next. Gummies if you think that vegetarians will be happy to hear how gummy sweets are made, you are wrong. These candies are made of gelatin, which is made from boiling the skin, bones, and cartilage of a pig. The first step is to sanitize the pig and roast them before having their skin peeled off. Meat industry will do their job and the gummy industry will get the leftovers. Then the discarded skin and bones are magically turned into some sort of white strings. Colorings are added to make it more appealing and what is left of the pig then goes into a machine that turns it into beautiful candies that we love to eat. The process was recorded by a Belgian filmmaker named Alina Niepkins who then showed it to the world. Everything started with a woman eating a candy, and by the end, everyone was disgusted to see what she actually put in her mouth. It was only one short film out of a series of videos documenting the way our favorite food is made, and as you can imagine, it doesn't get better. So next time that you are eating gummy sweets, remember that a pig doesn't have the chance to live a beautiful life because of this. We suggest you tell your vegan friends that they are doing something wrong if you see them eating gummy bears. Toothpaste we put this in our mouths every day, and we don't even know what it is. At this time, you shouldn't be scared of how the toothpaste is made, but of what is in it. Egyptians started cleaning their teeth since thousands of years, and ancient Greeks and Romans did the same thing. At that time, toothpaste was made of different ingredients, but it usually had one important side effect. It made people's gums bleed. It didn't get better over the years because in the 20th century, some German scientists developed radioactive toothpaste. But don't worry, it did get better shortly after. A dentist noticed that locals in a city had fewer cavities than most people. When he understood that it was associated with the high natural level of fluoride in their water, this ingredient was quickly added to the toothpaste that we know nowadays. What we put in our mouths twice a day is actually made of fluoride, baking soda, chalk, flavoring, and a lot of things that we cannot understand by looking at the ingredients on the box. But is it actually safe? On their website, Colgate says that if your child eats a large amount of toothpaste, you should call the emergency hotline listed on the toothpaste tube, or contact a poison control center immediately. So is it really a good thing to put this in our mouths every day? There's probably a better alternative. Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings, but this is also the reason why you will fall from too high once you realize that it is not as good as you think. Anyway, they don't have the right to say this anymore since someone sued the caffeinated drinks giant for falsely claiming that their product could make them fly. But let's get back to the ingredients. When people read the ingredients, rumors started spreading that taurine was coming from a bull's balls. Don't worry, it's not true. According to the website, taurine is an amino acid naturally occurring in the human body and present in the daily diet. Conclusion? This is probably safe. We know that drinking sugar isn't so good, but we'll survive. However, what you should be worrying about is the high level of caffeine in this product and the impact that it will have on you in the following hours. It takes only 10 minutes for the caffeine to enter your bloodstream and for your heart rate and blood pressure to rise. You might feel like you have more energy after 15 minutes, but an hour later, you will experience a sugar crash and feel more tired than you were before. Then it will take 12 hours for caffeine to be removed from your bloodstream. So is it really worth it? We don't think so sunscreen. You might have heard people saying that sunscreen was dangerous, but what is that really about? Sunscreen is made to protect your skin by absorbing or reflecting UVA and UVB rays. The SPF reveals the amount of sunburn protection that it can provide when you use it correctly. However, it must take something really special to protect us from rays that can be life-threatening. So there could be something really dangerous in the sunscreen too. Some scientists think that the nanoparticles in the chemicals could be small enough to slip past our skin and into our bloodstream and cause inflammation, which could be linked to cancer. Others say that it could cause damage to a person's hormone system. This is why a lot of people started to worry. However, it has only been tested on animals, and not all scientists agree. So yes, sunscreen can be a tiny little bit dangerous, 
but going outside without protection is just worse. One in three cancers diagnosed worldwide is a skin cancer, and most of it is caused by excessive skin damage. So maybe using sunscreen isn't so bad after all. If you really want to be safe, stay inside or cover yourself from head to toe. This is the only way that you will protect yourself from these dangers, as long as you don't overheat. Hot dogs. If you're wondering what was that pink slime associated with McDonald's, we might have found the answer. Hot dogs look tasty once they're cooked, but seeing how they're made will make you want to never eat this again. Are you ready? Before they're turned into beautiful sausages, hot dogs just look like a disgusting, gooey meat. It all starts with three different types of meat pork, beef, and chicken. Pieces of meat leftovers are used, and it already doesn't look good. They are quickly turned into strings, and then they are transformed into a weird substance that we wouldn't like to touch. Food starch is added, followed by salt and other flavorings. People in different regions have different tastes, so the ingredients can vary. Water is then sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together. Corn syrup adds a little sweetness, and water makes the hot dogs juicier. And this is when we see the goo pouring out of a tube. Everything is then turned into the sausage that we can easily recognize. But we don't care anymore, because it is already too disgusting for us. So let's summarize this story. Something pretty gross is turned into something even more gross, until they give it a different shape to make it look tastier. We will never look at hot dogs the same way ever again. Jelly beans. After seeing what they do to gummy sweets, we hope that we'll still have the guts to eat jelly beans too. Making these candies actually looks pretty sweet. Liquid sugar is mixed with starch and glucose before being poured into bean-shaped molds. They sit for a day and then go into giant spinning machines along with more sugar, hot syrup, and artificial flavors before being packaged and sold. In total, it takes 7 to 21 days to make a jelly bean. There's absolutely nothing wrong there, and we think that it looks great. But have you ever wondered how they make these disgusting flavors like vomit, boogers, or rotten egg? Once once they decide the exact flavor they want to mimic, scientists go to their labs. This is where they use a gas chromatograph and a mass spectrometer to heat up the fluid and vaporize the juice's molecule one by one. It seems complicated, but this is how they break down the molecule to better analyze the smell and recreate it. But do you know what this means? When they wanted the jelly beans to taste like stinky socks, they had to do this, according to a Jelly Belly spokesperson. A flavor scientist aged his own socks and sealed a plastic bag for a couple of weeks before putting it in the gas chromatograph. We think that we'll stick to the normal flavors like strawberry next time. Soap. We wash our body with this every day, so we think that it should be clean. But you will be surprised to learn what soap is actually made of. It was invented by the ancient Babylonians around 2800 BC. At that time, soap was made of wood ash, water, and animal fat. So yes, they were using what was left of the body of an animal on their own body. But did it change? Not really. Soap is still made by combining fats and oils with an alkali. Even though oils are plant-based, fats still come from animal sources. So once again, you should warn your vegan friend and advise them to use something else. But there is also something that everyone will probably care about. If you use antibacterial soap, it could have more negative consequences than benefits. That's because it contains triclosan, a chemical that's a known endocrine disruptor and a skin irritant. It can have an impact on the thyroid and reproductive hormones. It became such a problem that the US FDA decided to ban 19 active ingredients in antibacterial soaps including triclosan. If this is not enough to convince you, we don't know what will. And anyway, there is no evidence to prove that antibacterial soaps are better than simply using soap and water, so you should stick to animal fat instead. Tampons. When you put something inside your body for a week every month, you really hope that they are safe. This is why you won't be happy to hear what tampons are really made of. We know that they are made of cotton, rayon, and synthetic fibers, but there are a lot of other ingredients that manufacturers are hiding from us simply because they are not required to tell us everything. And when you learn about the toxic shock syndrome and the terror terrible consequences that it can have, you know that there might be something wrong down there. The toxic shock syndrome was mostly caused by synthetic materials, but they are no longer used in tampons sold in the United States. But why are some women still sick? People also found out that rayon is a byproduct of dioxin, which could cause cancer. Even though the FDA replied that it was not enough to be harmful, people think that putting many tampons inside your body for a week, every month, and every year could be dangerous. And it just gets worse when there is a fragrance, which is associated with allergies, respiratory distress, and effects on the reproductive system. System, don't think that pads are better. Women also found low quantities of chemicals in these products, which are associated with cancer and neurological problems. So until we know what is really in there, using a menstrual cup could be a better idea. M&Ms. Let's end this with something a little sweet, shall we? Sometimes there is just so much sugar everywhere that just seeing it can't be good for our diet, but we can't resist the temptation. So let's take a look at how M&Ms are made. Anyone who enters the factory must be super clean. They also have to wear a Mars-branded lab coat, gloves, hard hats, 
safety glasses, earplugs, and hair nets. And this woman was just coming to visit. The first part of the process is to mix all the ingredients for the chocolate together. Then it is tempered to the temperature needed to create the right shape. The little chocolates are sent through cooling tunnels, and then they add colorings, which takes a long time to create those vibrant colors. However, no one is allowed to see how they place the letter M on the candies so it's still a secret. And this is how it takes 10 to 12 hours to make one bag of M&Ms. We know that there was way too much sugar everywhere, but this time, we think that we won't be able to resist the temptation. We'll eat them anyway. Were you surprised by any of these everyday items? Don't be shy to tell us what you think in the comment section down below. We love to hear from you. And that's it for 10 everyday items you'll never buy again, knowing how they're made. If you want to see more stories like this, make sure you watch 10 gummy foods that taste better than real food. Thanks for watching.